Thanks for messing around at Vampire Survivors Beswick 288 or Beswick 288 Vampire Survivors. Queen Sigma is my controlled character, so let's not move. And this will be exciting because it's in Moonglow with Leda, Pepino, and a missing no with who knows what stats. The move challenges are very hard. Anyway. In the background, I will listen to Scarlet Flameheart of uh, V Reverie play some Warhammer 40k Space Marine 2. Uh, she's trying to look for Magos Luz. Uh, does he have a name like that? Oh, he's looking for Luz and has a couple missions in. And has just ran into Traitor Guard and Chaos Dudes. He's trying to fight through to go help out Sharon. Oh, probably should say spoilers, but meh, whatever. There's like, what, six views on the video before this? Oh yeah, Plasma Pistol. It's kind of funny. Everyone I've watched who comes to this part keeps thinking that he's gonna that he goes to chaos because when someone's far enough away from where you are, they start getting the voxy, the talky. Overlay, which makes them sound really gravelly and robotic-y. Oh, punch. Yep, that's sure is some Vampire Survivors gameplay. Yeah, nothing's happening here. Maybe I should have grabbed Mad Groove. That would have grabbed some stuff. Oh. Uh, Thousand Sons have their Egyptian syrup stuff. Nerica going on there. Dabbing some chaos heretics. N nah. Nah. Zangors don't look like Reeglings. Well, when I think Reeglings, I think of Morrowinds, not Skyrims. They I guess they kind of look like Skyrims, but they were very, very goblin-y in Morrowind. Not as much as the actual goblins who were not what you think of as goblins. They were absolutely beasts in Morrowind. Look at the goblins. Oh, she didn't grab the last few so Oh, the last few so is so great. I've been using it on Sniper off camera. It's so good. It's so insanely good a weapon. Yep. Yeah, Karen's. When it's in multiplayer, or when it's on single player, Charon's invincible. He doesn't need to worry about anything. Yep, she's just shooting through. And there's... It's mo it's Moonglow. It's Moonglow on no move. There's less than nothing to talk about here. Oh, I maybe need to knock down the decibels a bit again. Again! Well, no, if I do it in the midstream. Actually... No. I don't know. I just don't have the best voice for talking about things. It's somehow weird notion of being both nasally and not nasally. I don't know about it. Look, it's Moonglow. What do you expect me to do? There were other options. Uh, Amelia Watson is currently playing a bunch of Steam first-person stuff with basically all of Holo EN. Uh, she got off of some Team Fortress 2 with all of Justice and like two or three members of all the other gens. No Narissa, Callie Bales, Iris. Uh, who else was it? Oh man. Oh, whatever. That was most of them. I did see Bijou before I switched off. Who knows? Eh, completed Super Holo Wars not together. And all of them are going to be coming up in Chapter 2. Well, I completed Chapter 1 of Super Holo Wars. Chapter 2 going to be coming up. Got some teases there. Uh, Ten parts long. For about 30-ish hours of gameplay. Pretty solid length. That's... Heck... I've paid for gold. Whatever. 
Scarab Occult Terminator. Oh, cutscene time. Ah, <laughs> Scarab's in the Necron thing. It's just their theme. It's gotta theme everything. Yeah, you do. Woo. Your duty is to the Empire. Yeah. Good grief, Moonglow. That's just the perfect no-move challenge. Well, challenge in quotation most at this part. She's actually currently live streaming some Minecraft, but I do not particularly care for her Minecraft at the moment. But watched a lot of Achievement Hunter back in the day. Like all of it. Ooh, to the temple. George and the dragon. Oh, look at all those chests I wish I could grab. A buttons, A buttons. I think George is a s servant in Fate Grand Order. He's actually, like, supposed to be super, super nerfed in Fate Grand Order compared to how he would, should be at full power. Or, no. Hmm. He has so much stuff for history pulling from... Oh, I can't remember. Is he in Strange Fake? Is he actually in Strange Fake? Wait, that's supposed to be Sanguinous? Huh. I don't even have a picture of him on some random world. Like, then where the heck are the Blood Angels or any successor chapter? Yeah, Zeech beats Korn, Scylla. The oldest, the most powerful of the Chaos Gods. Oh, Atlanteans. Huh. Well, it won't matter with Missy No cheating over there. I hope it won't matter. Huh. Well, that's odd. The new Moon Glow would be the most challenging no move challenge because of this. <laughs> oh, oh, that's a funny time. Well, none of these stats matter. Gem one. I got Game Killer. I select Game Killer on accident instead of. Oh, huh. Thanks for continuing to mess around, Vampire Server Beswick 288. No move on Green Acres with Queen Sigma, Leda, your Rune Tan, and Mask of the Red Death. Huh? Oh, right. Queen Sigma Bantage. Get them experience. Yeah, so I tried this once with Silent Old Sanctuary, but I got no XP. So that's why I was just so surprised at the Arcana. Because, well, no move means very little XP. So now I have to hold out hope to get... XP off Mag Group, because this group really, really hits things far away. Oh wow, that's a lot of cats already. Yeah, figure. Go figure. Go figure. Starburst immediately. Unbelievable. I forgot to turn off random events. If the soccer shows up, I lose instantly. That's fair. Reroll them dice. Uh, anyway, I'm also watching... Scarlet Flameheart of the Reverie in the background. She's doing a bunch of stuff for Warhammer 40k Space Marine. I could change between that. Yeah, get that XP that way. Hmm. Crystal cries. Because if someone goes down low enough, it will be close, and then they can freeze it, heal up a bit, and do it that way. And also... Death. Death is the most vulnerable one here, actually, just because your rune tan's worthless. And that freeze hit from the Fadango will help. Also, the other option would have been Sapphire Mist for the chance of double swing. 
Still on the battle barge after rescuing Luz. A bunch of chaos he stuffed in. And now she's... Okay, next mission is going to be her going to the Astropath. Relay. Ooh, battle margin. Okay, this is already much better. Who knew that getting levels would be helpful? Yay, all my passives are correct. Wait, why did... Wait, how many levels did death get there? Okay, two of them with a heart. So that would have been 40%. No wonder how everyone's health cratered. Land problem. Talk about... Oh, older siblings. Okay, that makes more sense. She openly just said she was 22 earlier. It was a zoomer. There ain't no land parties after 2000 for your age bracket. I had land parties. That's that, Sonny. Why don't you get off my lawn before I give you a whack with the old hickory? Dick. Oh, hey, she has a list of subs. My list of subs is, uh, 177, because he's the only one who's donated. So if you feel like it, well, I'm between jobs. Thanks for that. But if you don't, hey, I understand it. I certainly wasn't dropping memberships and donations like mad myself. But I had one, because I knew this was coming. Oh well. Alright, this is going better. Calgar! I knew who Kelgar was as the chapter master of the Ultramarines beforehand. And this guy... Yeah, astropathic really. This guy, the Captain Acheron, didn't actually have a model on the tabletop for a long time. So eventually when this game was made, the Focus Entertainment just looked at a generic model, said, Yep, this is this guy now, and used that for the basis for him. Sort of like how Titus now is a model, because... Games Workshop really puts... Oh, hey, we're Logan. Oh, and the Crystal Cry will turn it supercharged, so... Full screen will become... The hearts. Oh, these... Wow, her ads are crazy. Ew. Who wants to watch an ad for DoorDash? Five tyrant. Ooh, that's an operation. That's the second one. Oh. I finally figured out what the heck was going on with the hit detection on the bloody shield. It's because on substantial and ruthless, the dodge timing is reduced. So that's why I keep getting hit. Because my dodge is worse, but the animation is completely desynced from that worse dodge. So I should... If I was on the lower difficulties, I would still be in my invincibility frames. But on the higher difficulties, I'm out of those invincibility frames, despite the fact that the animation is very clearly still playing, and I'm not being hit by anything. Oh boy. No, oh, no attractor over. Eventually, though. I mean, the gems will be redistributed evenly-ish. I'm not gonna cry. Because I don't want to relieve my stress. My stress is all I have. It's the one and only thing I have. He's just the whole cat side on the left side here. Yeah, Magru was the right call. Much better. And if I get more Arcana... Ooh, Rubric or... Rubric or Chaos ones. Zeech, yes. Uh, for the multiplayer... Actually, um, how is it divided? Emperor's children are Slanesh. World Eaters are Corn. A uh, Thousand Sons are Zeech. 
Ethgard or Nurgle, then everyone else is Chaos Undivided, which is all four. Black Legion, Alpha Legion, sort of. Word Bearers. Uh, Iron Warriors. What's the last one? Knight? Uh, I know who they are. They're like the Night Guard or... The ones Conrad Cruz is in charge of, or was Primarch of. Hmm. Uh, beginning would help. Don't have anything for that. Hulu. I think this is actually the best. Right? I don't know. Uh, I don't have bonus. Morales, my brother. Being a dreadnought later, my man. Yeah, beginning's the best up. <sighs> Putting the controller down and I move. Great. Uh, well, ruining the challenge on accident, and I don't feel like changing it because it's not going to make a difference. I didn't get any chests. I don't even think I got any experience off that. And the Sigma. Give him a TV tropes. Give her also TV tropes page. Or sub page on the page. Why is latest health so low? You know, the cat's just wrecking her that badly. Doesn't look like there's an animation playing to damage her. And I've seen what with Sigma's ludicrous starting luck. So half the map is cats, the other half isn't. I mean, might as well get Sapphire Mist. And be very careful about putting the controller back down. Oh, hit A. Uh, be careful. And then I just gently caress the joystick on the way over to another controller. Go figure. Don't judge people by their actions. Judge them by their words. After all, tell. Don't show. So many cats, it's broken the game. Mad Groove. $600 for a chaplain talk. What's the currency of Warhammer? I think it's thrones. I, mean, I think the only ones with currency are the Imperium, obviously. Ow. Orcs have teeth for some reason. And, hmm. I mean, in theory, the elders should, right? They do have a civilization. Nothing else really does. But, uh, looking at elder civilization is not really something people are interested in. Maybe they should change that. They're usually just in there as flavorful menaces to whatever. There to betray the Imperium after allying them for some dumb reason. Yeah, let's see. Like, while well, the Imperium may, like, hate the tower or whatever, the tower are generally less aggressive and willing to negotiate and not, you know, backstab just out of bad faith nonsense. They're, like, the lowest threat in this setting. Uh, the Elder you can negotiate with, but do want to backstab you at every opportunity they can. That's really it. You don't bargain with Chaos, you can't bargain with the Nids. I guess you can bargain with the Tomb Kings or the Necrons if they're feeling particularly onchy. Eh, well, you can kind of. There's some kind of mercenary orcs. I mean, it's not hard to tell orcs what to do. Just give them a sign saying, there's a fight here, go here, and they'll do that. Oh, I never put that ice pack on. I mean, the veins are fine, but 
Oh, well, my ice pack and my veins. I mean, they're fine. I just, I need to take care of them. It's my only source of inconsistent income for right now. Hey, I got the finishing break. Well, this is already ruined just through that accident. Not that's a big deal. It's not like I went around grabbing all these delicious, delicious treasure chests and evolutions. My soul solution is in there. And no stalker to wreck me. That helps. Still don't know if that new enemy they're teasing in Space Marine 2 is an actual new enemy or it's a new enemy faction. It's like saying just new enemy can mean either. The enemy is here and mean there is an enemy group here and whatnot. Chain sword, chain sword. Hammers, final mission. Uh, Scarlet, flame heart. Demi reverie. And so our zoom ripper. Yeah, that man room was the much better idea. I should. Well, the first one was an accident. I meant to get the Sentinel's Sanctuary. That might have been enough to get me Mad Groove anyway. If I hadn't gotten that. This time, everyone just fell so far away. Skull Claw. They'd save so much metal not making skulls everywhere. Hmm. Uh, new weapons. Well, they got that new Vulcanite pistol coming in. Now the pistol would make a lot of sense, especially on full work. Well, not with how they have Malta's work, but whatever. Dawn of War, the Malta guns are more like a different type of laser that's just hits everything real hard. Well, I suppose it does like 100 or 75% damage to all targets in exchange for short distance. While well, everything other things, like basically melee range. Which is bad, because the one dedicated Melta squad is Squishy Guardsmen. Well, Stormtroopers, but Squishy, Squishy Imperial Guard. Good grief, the ads on this video. I don't remember this popping up as badly with when I was watching the stuff with Holo. I mean, heck, my own videos have more ads than this, or than Holo tends to do. Weird. Now maybe there's part of the modernization and all the perms and all that nonsense. All right, Kelly's going to be playing. Mori Calliope is going to be playing Dark Souls Three today. Ultramarines, Marines, Marines. These Marines are the Ultramarines. I mean, one of the U.S. Marine Corps' divisions, brigades, corps, one of their groups is literally basically Marine Marine. Litimus for Marines or Lipimus Marines, something like those. Thank you, Terminal Lance. Alright, even the golems aren't getting through all the cats. Good thing I got cats. Yay, cats. I love cats. There's a little itty bitty baby kitty out there yesterday, I think. Ran. Also, someone almost ran over another cat, but just barely avoided it. They did not care whatsoever. They did not slow down at all, even though it was dead of the night. And if they had done that, I would have chased them down like the... Well, literal killer they are. Also, death's here. Yay, death. Twenty-seven million on Gotti, six, three, nineteen. That yeah, crud! I forgot about the Bone Zone. Well, here's Queen Sigma, Yorun Tan, Mask of the Red Death, and yes, that is bats, bats, bats on the Bone Zone because her setup is really, really strange. Anyway. 
Well, let's get those three. Because that's kind of the best bet. Actually, no. Bats, bats, bats is incredible for this, wasn't he? Because the bats are just going to go out there and be silly. If anything does hit. Well, as much of a challenge as this is anyway, with Queen Sigma being Queen Sigma. And I will get Bloody Tear. Uh, no Atoma Torpedo. No Heaven Sword. And no Menage, so Bloody Tear is the only evolution I could get. Why am I acting like I'm going to get it? Okay, the next two levels are going to be Boss Rash, which, oh good god. And White Out, which is perfectly fine. Oh, she's at the Cadian speech. I'm still watching Charlotte Flameheart play some Warhammer 40k, Space Marine 2. Trying to go to the Astropathic Relay. And listen to the Imperial Guard General give his cool, cool speech. We are vengeance and they will bring death to every single filthy zeal that dares to touch Imperial soil. Don't give your life, make the enemy give theirs. Sir, yes, sir! War always changes. Killing never changes. Yep, Commissarian. Only they train every guardsman like a commissar, then nothing would stop the Imperium. That's is really damaged. Yeah, look at that giant cathedral. Actually, isn't that the cathedral that uh, the operations goes through? I don't know. I didn't watch. This is not live. This is a recording. I couldn't watch this live. Because there was something else going on at the time. Uh, Watson is still doing her thing. Oh, right. I need to check when Maury's doing her Dark Souls 3. The Emperor does have teeth. They're bony. Well, they're feeding the Emperor thousands of people a day. Gotta keep that psychic power going. Okay, so it's about five hours from now for Calliope playing some Dark Souls 3. Oh, that's gonna be a fun one. Dark Souls, it is just fun to watch people react to those games. Dark Souls, Elden Ring, all that. They've got so many moments that it's just nice seeing people to react to. And since I'm emotionally dead, except for bouts of rage and anger. Well, not rage and anger, more like really grumpy annoyance. I have to live vicariously through other people reacting. Yes, trust me, no matter how much I yell about something being dumb, or dopey, or bad hit detection, or whatever, that is not me being mad, it's just grumpy and annoyed. If I was mad, we would not be having this conversation. I would be passed out on the floor, dying, probably. I know this from experience. The last time I too got truly gallingly mad, I passed out. Oh boy. Huh, Diver Mine's actually doing some work, keeping that entire side back. Alright, hit the bay button. Oh. There's always a bigger Malta, and after the multi Malta, it'll be a one on a tank. Uh, no, wait, is the tank or the Dreadnought one bigger? Then after that, obviously, it starts going to the Imperial Knights. And beyond that, it's uh, Titan time. And possibly... Actually, I don't know how Battleship shoots. But I think they're like missile pods and lances. Eh. Bats.
All right, do you want to do Bolero? Mm, I think. Actually, because of the healing from Crystal Cries, wondering the Jet Black would be acceptable. And Bats is not getting hurt. And there's another ad for 16, Final Fantasy 16. On PC now. Too bad it's not coming to Xbox. Steam. In fact, uh, part of the Tokyo Game Show was having the Pixel remasters come to Xbox, so that's neat. I will have points for that if I felt like it, but unlikely. Funnily enough, I only beat... Good God. Is 4 really the only Final Fantasy... Mystic... Okay, the only Final Fantasies I beat are Final Fantasy 4, Final Fantasy Mystic Quest, and Final Fantasy Legend. What eventually became, uh, what was it, Adventure of Mana? The official name of it. Never beat Final Fantasy, never played 2 or 3. Never beat 4. Every time I got close to beating 6, my data would become corrupted. Never beat 7 because Northern Crater would not let me enter it. Barely played 8. Data got lost in the final dungeon of 9. Never played 10, 11, 12, 13, 14, 15. And well, actually I did beat 16. I own 16. I beat the DLCs too. It was an amazing game. My second favorite of last year. Yeah. Well, it does loop back around here. Yeah. How would I put my game rankings this year for what I want? Oh man, it's so tough because so many things are good. Uh, huh, huh, huh. Yeah, it's just so much to think and talk about. Yeah, I don't know where it go. I still don't know if that bell that drops on Space Marine 2 drops on Guardsmen or not, or if they're all out on their attack after that. If I had more, well, I have all the time in the world. And I would experiment more with how to save the Cadians in the main campaign. Just there's certain circumstances I want to check about. <laughs> oh hey, it's uh, this. Dinosaurs with guns. That's some Calvin thinking there. T-Roxes and F-16s, woo! Yeah, Lehman Russ, Lehman Russ, Lehman Russ. Wait, is it a Lehman Russ? I don't think it's a Lehman Russ. It might be some other variant. No, that's just a Camara, I think. The Manticore anti air batteries. I know the Space Marines are supposed to be huge, but the perspective of the video calls looks really off, even compared to it. Oh no. The funny thing is, of the four playthroughs I've watched, well, three in my own, so I guess I've watched my own, so four. Scarlet is the only one who actually saved the Cadians in the swamp area before the Lector fight. They're led by like Sergeant Byron. Uh, wait, who is the third? Myself, Ko, Chi. Oh, was it? I know I did watch someone. I think it was Bricky. Bricky with Iron Mouse. 
Matara, one of them. Grenades! Yeah, at one of the early whatchamacallits. Oh, I could also use check my account balance if I could see if I've purchased the DLC. Or the skin packs. I think that's probably a better use, but wow. Diver mines are... Wow, Bats has managed to get the full 360 diver mines off somehow. God, she has so many ads. I don't know what's going on with that. Yeah, the pizza lunchables were totally the best ones. The rest were terrible. It was something about the dough for the crust for the pizzas coupled with the the fact that the sauce is actually pretty good. Old. I mean, the pepperoni hot pocket's also the best. Uh, she's got good taste on that. But obviously, people are going to want like breakfast hot pockets for like cheese and ham. An egg if they're a monster, and bacon if they have taste. No falling off the edge of the world here. This later. I mean, variety is the spice of life, but consistently helps keep you a solid foundation and grow healthier. I am. Wow, I got 100k on a no move challenge. Weird. Wait, what? You can melee spore mines? Just smacked it away like it was a baseball. Huh. Odd. Oh yeah, there's Vampire Survivor's no move going on. Well, well, what do you expect me to say? I'm not moving. Other than the... Uh... Diver mines somehow getting a full 360. Nothing really that interesting has happened. When you got a team like this been on probably one of the hardest stages to do it. Chaos! I should probably reread Apith Theater. Obviously, all the funniest jokes are in my head, so I'm not going to react to them as strongly, but still, it's a good read, and occasionally something will just so surprise you, like, oh, it wasn't as funny last time. And it's still finished. And also, maybe this time I'll remember to check to see if there are any old men in blue robes that show up. But I think he may have actually... Brian Cleavager. Cleavager? May have done an even longer brick rope than the one that actually ended the comic on. Which was incredible. Man, there's probably a lot of people... Who watch VTubers that don't know what AP Theater is, huh? Chaos! <laughs> Trying to put down that melt and it's just not working. See, it's not just me. Other people have issues with this. Good grief. You hit the dang rubric a few times. And straight to execute. Yeah, the substantial and ruthless health are so huge. Yeah. I mean, in... I mean, if Space Marines needed good food, then yeah, they'd get it, but... Raider Legion! Wait, uh, what are those? Okay, the Loyalist Legions. One I know for sure are Dark Angels. And there's Blood Angels, Iron Hands, White Scars, Ultramarines. 
Space Wolves. Oh, Raven Guard. Salamanders. It's the last one. Oh man, this is tricky. It's probably one of the ones that might not be. Death. Death. 12 million. 1.8. 12.7. 23.6. Wow, bats is the hard carry here. Fascinating. Heck, even Diver Mines did 4.1. That's not terrible. Better than your rooting hand. 59 damage. 59. Crazy bad. Alright, time for what's gotta be the showstopper. Boss Rash with Queen Sigma, Kyoru Rune Tan, Bat Robert, and Shimunita. This is gonna be a rough one. A very rough one. Because not even Queen Sigma can survive a super long time here. Alright. I already failed once, so let me try a Crystal Cries. Uh, full heal. Ah, this isn't gonna work. Well, I suppose the best option would be trying with Signwold Sanctuary and Crystal Cry Cerebonde. Yeah, it's so dangerous. It's so hard. You have to make choices, and they're dangerous choices. Oh, she got Laurel, so that might help. With enough duration. Definitely need Mad Groove. I can't not have Mad Groove. That's too necessary just to survive. Okay. Alright, what's the last Loyalist Legion? Dark Angels, Blood Angels... Aaron Warriors, White Scars, Ultramarines, Raven Guard, Salamanders. Ah, uh, bloody Starburst, really. Dark Angels, Blood Angels, Iron Hands, Night Guard, White Scars, Salamanders, Ultramarines. Oh, da 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 da. The legions, the nine founding legions. Dang it. I've even lost one along the way. Oh, that's a lucky fire breath there. Ag is very dangerous. Oh, I got a weakness, or I got garlic, so. In their armor. Oh, I'm still watching Scarlet Flameheart play Space Marine 2. Actually, the garlic is really good there. Oh, nice. About five minutes in. Uh, I don't think it's possible to get through Ender and Co. Well, I suppose I could just move, but who knows. Oh, Legion, Legion, Legion. Two more Legion. Space Wolf, that's eight. Oh. Okay, I remember. Okay, you know, I could probably actually name all the Primarchs. It's just, I can't remember the name of the ninth, even though I know it's Rog Rogaldorn's group. They're the ones who do it, but I don't remember their name. So, Conrad... No, it's not Conrad. It's Lionel Johnson, Stark Angels, Sanguinous for Blood Angels, Robert Gulliman for the Ultramarines, Corvex for the Raven Guard, Jangly Khan for White Scars, Vulcan for Salamanders, Lehman Russ for Space Wolves. 
Ferris Magnus for Iron Hands. And then Rogal Dorn for whatever the last one is. Praetorians? I don't know their name officially. Oh, one down. But these aren't the threats. These aren't the big threats. No. Oh. Huh. Woo. Yep, he's going down. Oh, unfortunate. Without being high enough level to get a sign old sanctuary, there are issues. Well, uh, maybe if Magrub was on a ten minute or a one minute instead of a two minute, Sigma could survive. Oh, Sigma's down for realsies. That's bad. Yeah. It's not having the old sanctuary hurts. I have to make a lot of hard choices. A chest, a chest, a Paco Batlier chest, and of course, why would I need Silent Old Sanctuary? Oh, and then everyone gets just wrecked by that. That doesn't help at all. Freeze! Not a herodo. Not a herodo. I cannot pronounce Japanese. My tongue is big and fat. Ah, uh, trickster. Yeah, I think just too much here, along with, you know, Starburst. Just showing up all the bloody time. Yeah, this isn't possible. The numbers just aren't there. Well. It's not possible, I'll win anyway. Money, money, money. Money. Yeah, even if I just roll the dice till sheer unlimited luck, it's not gonna happen. So just grab what I can and get out of here. And it's just not possible. To beat boss rash without moving. The circumstances just don't allow it. <laughs> this is fine. Garlic. Garlic for Shimunita. Yeah, I'm not doing enough damage to get through the robots anyway. The Gyorun Tans would be even worse. Uh, well, let's see if there's any white sources to grab. I mean, she's already healing like 7 HP a second, so it doesn't really matter that much. Tab! Tab! I still won't have the others move, that's no problem. But I control the Sigma, or some definition of control. Wowzers. Oh. Just can't remember the name of that last. Ooh. Of Rogal Dorn's Legion. I can name all the Chaos Primarchs, too. There's a Mortarian, Horus, Magnus, Olgrim, Alpharius, Omegon. Conrad Cruz, the Night Haunter. There's Oh Lorgar. Hmm. Who is the Iron Warriors? Petrobo. And then who was the last one?
F, F a million. Oh, that's boss rash done. All right, thanks for messing around in the last section of Queen Sigma's no move challenge, except she did move. So it sort of failed, but boss rash doesn't seem doable. We've got Missy No, Masquerade Death, and yes, Meowing Moon Spell is the next character down that hasn't beat White out. First DLC character. Anyway, I'm still listening to Scarlet Flameheart play some Space Marine 2, and she just talked about a surgery to increase a person's height by breaking the bones and inserting pins between them and then healing it. So I should go tell that to Machina X Fleon. Because he was talking about how he wanted to get taller, because he's tall. Well, he's roughly on par with some of the taller size of the Holo Live girls, but he's a Holo Star, so he's a guy. Anyway, I was talking about Space Marine because, well, what else am I going to talk about when no move is challenging? No challenge and no move. Oh, yeah. No challenge and no move. Anyway, traitor. Traitors. Hey, white. Traitor legions, traitor marines. So the missing Primark was Lorgar and Aaron Gorn. For the world eaters and the world word bearers. And then I forgot the legions. Go figure. Yep, that's all 18 legions and 18 primarchs. Plus 19 primarchs, because one was 20. One and two, the second and the 11th legion were just banished from records, because, well, whatever they did was so horrific. That, even Horus nearly destroying the Imperium, was less bad than that. Go figure. Uh, you're not 6'7", you're like 5'7", at best. Scarlet. I do not believe you. You are not 6'8". You have never seen a 6'8 person in your life. Okay. Right, what do we got here? Well, more Primark talk, I guess, because, well, there's no vampire survivors to talk about when it's like this. So most of the Primarchs are either dead, missing around the action. The recent change to forward the story has, you know, changed that. Robot Gulliman and Lionel Johnson were out of the action in stasis for a while, but they've come back recently. Uh, the other Loyalist Primarchs, um, Barris Magnus is dead. Sanguinous is dead. That's four. I think all the rest are actually just missing in action. Vulcan was dying a lot. Lehman Russ is missing. Orvax is missing. Jangly Khan is missing. You know, I was just thinking it could be able The other one is missing as well. I just can't remember the names. I don't have them memorized to that degree that I can just list them off like a serial number. Uh, he is missing, whomever he is. Well, I don't know if Ro Dorn is alive or dead. Uh, for the chaos, Conrad Cruz and Horus are super duper dead. Lorgar, Anagorn, Magnus, Fulgrim. Well, Fulgrim is an asterisk. Petrobo, Mortarian. They're all demon princes and mostly just doing random nonsense. Alpharius Omegon is a whole thing. And Fulgrim is... His body is currently possessed by a demon while his soul is trapped in like a mirror or something or a sword or something weird and dumb. So that might have changed after that. That's much easier to tell their fates. Why did I just go through the chaos ones so easily? Oh, who was the missing one? Lehman Russ, maybe? No. Let's see, Ferris Magnus was killed by Fulgrim. He got completely rolled in that duel. Sanguinous killed was Horus in the final days of the siege. Most of the missing ones just got lost in the warp or chasing dudes. Uh, Robert Gulliman was... Oh, I can't remember. 
he was definitely it was by another Primark that he was injured so bad he got put in a stasis. Same thing with Lionel, I believe. Or the weird nonsense going off the dark. Oh, she's at the multi card of Hex Fight. Oh boy. And for the chaos side, Conrad Cruz basically gave up and let himself get killed. Horus was super duper uber mega killed by the Emperor. And Horus was the one who killed Sanguinus. And then, well, that's it. Everyone else became demon princes, except for Fulgrim, who got soul ripped or whatever, and Alpharius and Omega Man, who were like, Really, really absurdly, insanely complicated to a degree that is basically impossible to say in the five minutes I got, but I'll try anyway. So, Alpharius or Omegon may be loyal, or they may be traitors. They may be aiding the Imperium, or they may be sabotaging it. They are masters of s deceit, so much so that most don't even know that they are two Primarchs. Maybe even the Emperor doesn't know. Either way, Alpharius may be Omegon. Omegon may be Alpharius. He may, in fact, be the first Primarch ever found and not Horus. Or he could be lying to everyone. He could be the Emperor's most favored son, or the one who never met him at all. One is dead. Is the other alive? Who knows? But, well, that's it. In a nutshell. It's a big shrug in order to just mess with your mind. Made a lot of rivalries. Ah, shareholders. Yeah, Intel's having possible having problems because they have to do layoffs to keep up with their profit shares. Companies are a scam. Oh, I'm about to get to the boss fight with Mira. Uh, now there's not actually that many ranks in a Space Marine instructor. There's really just Marine, then Sergeant, Lieutenant, and Captain, or, and then Chapter Master for like direct lengths. Maybe you have a more specialized scout sergeant, like in, in whatever the heck force commander is. There, they don't have like a billion ranks of corporal and sergeant, like in the current Marine Corps. And all that. Really streamlined, because, well, it's not like most of them had a military background. Like, the original card game for Warhammer was basically just a big old parody. You flat out had a guy named Han Solo Kenobi as an Inquisitor. No joke. Well, maybe the name is a bit different, but it was definitely something as blatant as that. And then they started just the concept of constantly ripping off. Like, the Tyranids were originally closer to Xenoth Xenomorphs from Aliens. The Aliens from Aliens, if you don't know, they're called Xenomorphs. Then, the Zerg rushy thing they are. Uh, that's a lot of stuff. Meong, beat up Kazune. Why does it feel like Myong was here? Oh well. Even Kazune went down before she took out anyone, I think. Eh, it doesn't matter. It doesn't matter. Power sword. I didn't use the power sword in campaign, but man, is it so nice on Bulwark. Hey. Okay. Feels like the cats are just being eaten by Sigma. Oh, God. The Springfield thing is a lie. 100% a lie. They have admitted it is a lie. And I will not stand for saying otherwise. Stop saying Japanese. I barely know. Because I am ass. Ha 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 ha. <laughs> <laughs> Gotta try and get that pecker a laugh in. Ooh, Seda ended up. 
Yeah, for all them choir boys. Yeah. It's kind of funny. Oh, all guardsmen party are still top of the line in utility sports. Mount S. Calgar. And he's talking to the guy about to fall into the platform and fight the boss. But I have to leave. Well, maybe not. 3758 Yang did nothing. Alright, and that's another episode down on the Vampire Survivors Beswick. 288, for a total of 1,089 character stage combinations done. That leaves us with 866 to go. 43 more episodes at the current rate. Ooh, it could be done by November, less than a year. Or it'll be done even faster because of the sixth wave. Ooh. By the way, Santa Ladonna is going to be up next, starting over on Space 54, probably, or not. Yeah, starting off Space 54. Till next time. Thanks for watching. I hope you had some fun. Please like, dislike, comment, or subscribe if you did. And if you already have, thank you. The support keeps me going. Either way, have a good day and keep messing around in the Vampire Survivors Beswick.